Hello and welcome back to Caves of Code. How are you doing? Yep, that's uh, that, that's that. That's the intro. Yo, we should talk. Let's have a talk about Tim Hortons. Um, before we have a talk about Tim Hortons, I'm actually not going to. I have nothing to add to the conversation of Tim Hortons. Um, before we do that, before we don't do that, let's talk about what achievements I need. Um, I got an achievement in the last episode. It's always always a good feeling when I get an, an achievement in, the, in any, uh, any episode. Um, I am trying to get uh, a certain number of recipes. Let me see how many I am. Okay, so I've I've done 64 recipes. It might even be 65 and I have yet to, or I haven't, um, it hasn't updated yet, but I have to do 60, uh, like another 35 recipes. So we're actually getting quite close because it's out of 100, remember. Um, I have to cook a meal with an extra dimensional limb, which I've, who knows how that works. Um, I'm going to have to get the amaranthine prism for an achievement. Uh, we're going to have to try and get the other pearl at some point. Uh, that's another achievement. If I can get some extra reputation with uh, highly entropic beings, then that'll be a bit easier. Um, we ha have high ego. We could get snake oiler. That'll make that easier. I need to kill a deca sludge. I don't know if that'll happen this run, but I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Um... There's a there's a lot of there's a lot of achievements here that I are, are gonna be a pain in the butt. The slinth achievement is another one. Uh, is this guy's reputation the same? Yes. Okay. Well, that's good. We need to kill this lad. Unfortunately, I don't have enough lays to really make it happen. Can I dominate you? Yes, I can. So I will. Um, your companion a baboon died oh that's that was my companion as this baboon um i'm gonna go ahead and explore this place and also kill my baboon companions the one problem with this is i'm pretty sure i don't get the the experience as myself but that's fine i'm gonna come in here and uh what what has happened Ooh, 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 ah, ooh, ooh, you've lost your mind. Um, villagers admired by the villagers of Sarsakesh. So I would actually like to make friends with this lad. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of a problem because I don't have any love injectors I have 251 uh, two turns left let's just like auto explore I am recovering my health as I auto explore yeah that, that didn't really go that well to be honest because I, I recovered like all of my health and the idea was to uh, weaken myself somewhat Okay, end domination. Pretty sure, oh no, they, they don't have lays. But anyway, I have enough lays. I should, I should be able to take them out. There you go. Dar, Darithisian, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, they're dead. And we can acquire uh, this stuff. Didn't they pick up a book? Oh no, did I pick up a book as them and then kill them like a dummy? Uh, with the lays the lays does uh, Get it, it destroys things unfortunately. It's the one thing I don't like about lays uh, So we don't want to go in there. I I want to um, Get reputation with other villages all villages. In fact, they're gonna be very important for the slint uh, I guess I was gonna explain the slint, but basically the slint are kind of a side quest very near the um, they're they're near uh, Eid freehold we're gonna cook a new meal. Um, choose ingredients. Let's do for men. Let's do congealed salve and honey. Why not? 
Uh, basically, they're plant-like people that um, require a new residence. And they it's a quest that requires you to get 600 reputation with uh, three, three factions. It's very easy to do three factions, right? Because you can go ahead and do it with Brathromites. You can do it with um, Mechanimists. And you can do it with, like, say, one extra village. And the vill villages are fairly easy to do this with. Like, you know, um, our friend here, Luliheart, uh, they represent pariahs. So it's actually pretty easy to do it with pariahs as well. But they are also disliked by the villages of Alagabal. I would really rather not um, kill Luliheart. I, I like them a lot, and I know that um, the ire of Luliheart fans would be severe so I, i'd rather not do that um <laughs> but either way disliked by the villages of kikyuka i don't know if anyone is a fan of zazipur but um i don't know do they represent the cult of the coiled lamb because maybe they could take in this lens as well who knows did i look at this i did do i have any more um reshef nope never mind so uh let me let's check our pope rep you know very important thing to do in caves of cut is check out the pope hated by the cheva disliked by fungi and birds that's fine i i don't mind any of that give you some reputation so uh the mechanimus it, it's gonna take a while for the you know the reputation to build up mechanimus reputation is very common to come by as is barath or my reputation it's not just that you know you complete quests for them and get reputation in that way but also um this just happens to be a lot of people roaming around that ha are, know the Brathermites and also know the mechanimus and so that kind of reputation is easy to come by violet tube huh sure wish i had much to offer you i guess i could offer a book i would probably prefer to you know use this as trade fodder for now than the experience i don't know what the violet tube is going to do for me but you know this is a this is a strange run i don't know i don't really know what i'm doing it's a very wandering run right now just kind of like wanting to get yeah inspired exploring new zones helps us get ex inspired so we can choose some new ingredients to cook with vine wafer sheaf and salve sure whenever you take damage there's an eight to ten percent chance you don't thirst for the next 12 hours uh 10 to 15 percent natural healing rate you thirst at half rate that's nice whenever you drink fresh water there's a 25 percent chance you heal some health that's not bad that makes health uh, or water like almost a healing agent kind of nice uh what do we have here well we have some nice people these seem like pariahs to me yeah they are pariahs hated by fungi hated by the denizens of eat freehold disliked by the hendron of bela loved by pariahs um, Bela is one of the towns that can actually serve as a, uh, as a people for, or a home for the Slynth. So I don't know if I want to, I definitely don't want to make enemies to eat freehold. I already did that and it was not great. Um, pariahs kind of don't care about my reputation with pariahs, but I don't also don't want to like sacrifice the problem with pariahs is that they are pariahs <laughs> the problem with pariahs is that they tend to be hated by important people and so as much as i don't want to make enemies with pariahs uh they tend to make enemies with people that i want to make friends with i'm gonna take out a dawn glider for the reputation or the sorry the experience 375 experience is pretty pretty darn good so we we really could stand to level up a few times i'm just waiting 500 terms turns so i can get my charges back uh we don't want to be that close to a dawn glider oh god that's fine we should be able to take them out we can
Lay's really is OP. I really, I really appreciate Lay's. I, I also miss my mod that turns the horn off on, uh, on the salt, six, the, the salt desert music. It's, it's a heck of a tune, but it does get old, does it not? Found some ruins. Let's check out some ruins. This is kind of my favorite part of Cud. Is it like you know the this the early to mid game when you're just kind of exploring and everything, including like a electro bow, for example, is a really good find. Like you're just excited to find very mundane things like stun gas grenades, for example. EMP grenades, amazing. One of one of the most important discoveries in the early game. I, I really appreciate a uh, EMP grenade, especially EMP Mark One. Um, I don't think I ever found EMP Mark One in uh, the last run, and it hurt. It really did hurt because I needed. Uh, I had I had Mark Three, and Mark Threes were extremely expensive to make, and I just didn't have enough goods. I didn't have the goods, you know. We're finding tons of books. This is all good. Just kind of exploring. Not not a lot going on. I could go to uh, the tar, the, the asphalt mines. You know, I like me some asphalt mines. We should sh use our gun as well, but I don't know. There's no point when I have lays. The best thing about Lay's is it never misses. I mean that literally, it never misses. Splort. Okay, let's wait through the night. We're famished, so I should just cook a meal. Sometimes I don't mind just being famished. You don't lose health from being famished. See a giant amoeba. Oh, you, you, you have decided to join the party, huh? Okay. You stop resting because you caught fire. Why am I caught on fire? That's weird. You gain two experience. Okay, all right. Oh, oh god. Um, that's that's as quickly as things can change in this game Okay, uh, are we gonna yeah, we're, we died How long ago was my checkpoint pretty long ago? I don't I don't really make a habit of saving the game Why is our thing no longer on? I guess it is. Never mind. Okay, never mind. Uh, is this when we had just left the still? No. What? When was this? Oh, I guess it does. All right, yeah, it does save the game uh, a number of zones. I'm gonna save the game now. There we go. That's how that should go down. I would love to be collecting the um, Dawn Glider tails because it's just like insanely good money. Are you my enemy? No, you're not. Okay, good. I don't, I don't want to attack you. I just need like three charges max to take out a Dawn Glider. There we go. Um, you know, if you have light manipulation, it seems to me that the six the, the salt desert is a great way to grind Grind up your skills a little bit. I would love to be doing like ruin diving and getting some money um, Because you know, honestly just having crystal gear would be great But you know, honest it, it, it's a bit trepidous because we don't we don't have enough strength even to hold crystal gear like if I had crystal gear it would take up my entire inventory space. Unless I could like um, modify it to be light, which, you know, is an option, but it's um, expensive and I don't have anywhere near the bits I need to make something like that happen. 
Oh, there's one more. One laze charge. Uh, 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 three laze charge. Wait a minute. There's a number missing between those two. Oh, okay. Well, well I could definitely take out that zone, but it's not worth it. Isakari tribe are not very good XP for me at this point. I'm not really combing the desert. I'm just kind of like wandering in one direction. Um, if I was combing, I'd be start like doing this a bit more methodically. Floating glow sphere. That'd be kind of nice. Why is there like are are we why is why are these prices so bad? I feel like we have enough ego. We should be getting some better prices. feel like the Lay's sound effect was changed a little bit, or maybe there's just more variety in them because I, I, I kind of appreciate them a bit more now. You're famished. We are also inspired. We should cook a meal. Choose ingredients to cook with. Uh, salve and jam. Why not? Plus 8 to 12 to saves versus bleeding. Nice. Ouch. Ouch. Stop it. Damn. Don't need to be hitting me with no fire breath. Uncalled for, honestly. All right. Well, I, uh, this is like a character I have. I, I'm not really enjoying this character. Oh, 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 okay. This could be good. Hold on. Robot rep. Yeah, loved by pariahs. Oh, why did you have to be a pariah? Why did you have to be a pariah? <laughs> This is like by crabs, tortoises, hated by the villagers of Shibu Shibumur. Oh God. <sighs> These uh, idols tend to have robot rep because they are robots. And um, I'm very disappointed that they are instead a pariah. Wait, what, what's up with you? Rifle turret. Loved by pariahs, just like by apes. You know what? Um, we'll make friends with you. Because that's easy pariah rep, and I don't have to lose much important rep. Ooh, they would teach me. They would teach me trash divining. Kinda wouldn't mind having that, but I really gotta preserve all of the reputation I can. Um, we're already halfway towards um, getting the pariahs to uh, accept the slint, so. And in fact, I mean, making one village hate me wouldn't be a terrible idea, but I feel like there's better ways. I'd rather just like mark this on the, my map. And if I happened to um, not find like enough, like if I find the villagers of Shebermu or whatever they're called, then um, loved by pariahs, then I can keep pariahs open as an option. Go ahead and freeze that zone so they don't uh, move. This is a, another thing I, I like about um, just wandering through the desert is the the extra reputation is welcomed. Gel weep. Gel is pretty good. Um, a lot of rest, uh, cures call for gel. We are now in the marsh. We've wandered all the way from the top of the map to the bottom. Okay. Um, there's some new good stuff in the rusted archway, so we could kind of explore that. Uh, I wouldn't mind exploring that. We are lost. We could get unlost very easily, but I'd rather just kind of do it the natural, all, all natural way of wandering around. I feel like I have one of my settings turned off that I don't like to turn off, which is to ignore trivial creatures. Are we ignoring trivial? 
Ignore enemies less than average. Wow. That's incorrect. Okay. Gaslight Chris really coming in on the clutch when it comes to tortoises. You don't really get anything. Well, you get 62 experience from tortoises. That's not nothing, but it's basically nothing. You know you're still kind of weak and uh you're still you're still kind of weak when you're 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 getting experience from vine spitters or whatever seed spitters oh man i don't want to give the devs of caves of cut any ideas but how is it that they've not added seed spitters that shoot the freaking exploding seeds like the <laughs> The, you know, the, the seed sower, the, the goat folk seed sowers, they're exploding seeds. How is it there's no um, vine seed spitters that shoot those? That would just be kind of awful. I know there's the tumbler pods and that's fine, but... Oh man, they're, they're going to do that, aren't they? So we've got a bunch of uh, snap jaws right now. And a salt hopper. I might try and dominate the salt hopper. Easy. I have succeeded in um, stopping these snap jaws from attacking my person. That was kind of close. Spot a drum ad. Go ahead and attack them and kill the salt hopper. All right. Do you have anything cool? Mm, nope. Not really. You have a painted bronze mace. We'll have a look at that. Reshe floor that I already know. Okay. All right. Thanks for nothing. We're going to the rusted archway. It's really telling that it takes as many lays to take out a uh, two-headed boar as it does a dawn glider, but we get it like a fifth of the experience. Rusted archway tends to be a pain in the butt, um, and there's a not 0% chance that we may have to give up on it. Um, recharge the chem cell, yes. Because uh, the, the fact of the matter is there's the occasion where the rusted archway has just a army of chain turrets and i don't really want to have to deal with that um yeah rusted archway is kind of a pain in the butt sometimes sometimes most of the time it's totally fine most of the time, it's a very, very reasonable um, zone. I, I just, I got kind of lucky with this character. Only lucky thing really is that I managed to find a security card, a fairly high tier security card. So doors have not really been a problem for me, but it's uh, really the only thing I've, I've been fortunate about. Everything else has kind of sucked. These are, these bits are going to be good. That's kind of why I'm here. We definitely want to be getting lots of bits for our tinkering future. You're famished. Do we? We're not inspired, so we'll whip, whip up a normal meal. Seventy-five experience from two-headed boars. You know what? Let's throw some more points on the light manipulation. Why not? We can only throw the one point on there. We can, um, we do have some skill points. We should consider taking some other stuff like scavenger maybe. Scavenger would be nice. Repair would be okay. Um, we can't take a tinker too. Um, we've already, 
taken we've taken salt dunes oh surprisingly i have not taken wilderness lower jungle should probably take that but let's consider other things first i kind of want to get into self-discipline because i tend to gloss over it so often um let's do fasting way can we do lion heart no uh what what is the other one i want I guess I want mind over body. You hunger and thirst at 1-6. That's why I never take this. It's because it requires 29 willpower. And I never really put take points in, in willpower. It never happens. Um, this this run has been an exception in that I've take, put, actually put points in willpower. And I have not... It's very telling that I have not been enjoying it. Um, <clears throat> willpower is a great s skill... It's just one I tend not to take, like, anything that utilizes it. Like, uh, you know, I tend to make very strength um, smashy builds. Um, and I don't tend to play espers because I'm not very good at playing espers. This has been an exception. So, willpower has been good. Willpower is good for other characters as well, as well not just espers. Um, you know, but like it reduces the cooldown of like all of your skills not not just esper based ones but i do think that espers benefit enough from willpower that it is more worth it i think it's a that's objectively true it's more worthwhile for espers it's not that it's willpower is not worthwhile in anyone like any other um, build but you know in any case um that's why i've never taken uh mind over body because I've never taken willpower. I would never get 29 willpower in basically any of my runs. It, I would have to play to like level 60 to cons like see willpower as a possibility. And that's just kind of not possible. At least not currently. I mean, we are uh, eventually going to get to the point in CUD where the late game, I think, goes late enough that level 50 runs are a possibility. Am I bleeding? I am bleeding. Yo, that scrap way droid uh, killed that other scrap way droid. Which is kind of nice because I was able to uh, take their stuff. Maybe I'll go long swords. Nah, I don't. There's no point going long swords. Did I just kill that honey badger? Honey skunk? I did. Oh, they, they're pretty good XP, actually. Good to know. Much better XP than some of this junk that takes forever to kill and hurts me pretty good. 87 experience from the crab that almost killed me. Just not, not really great, is it? Don't really need that stuff. Okay, we're continuing down. There's some new good stuff in the Rusted Archway. Um, there is, I think, always guaranteed a Nook at the basement and a Cybernetics Credit Wedge, which we just got. And there's the Nook I just sought for a split second there. Fungicide Grenade, we'll treat these as scrap and disassemble. I know Fungicide Grenades are good, blah, blah, blah. But uh, I have basically never found them to be useful personally um bizarre contraption let's examine it fusion pumping station there is a not zero percent chance for me to have died by examining it because i'm pretty sure if that thing is examined poorly it will explode morphogenic grenade launcher what does that do when powered and used to perform a successful damaging hit, this weapon attempts to daze all other creatures of the same species as you, your target on the local map. Grenade launchers are heavy weapons. Um, this is not a character I can, I will foresee using this, but I will take the cell. Um, we could throw this down the technology hole. I could definitely see the uh, Mechanimus enjoying that but we are now above our burdened 
Let's, uh, wow, we still haven't treated folding chairs as scrap. That's fine. Let's do that now. Uh, and now we play the game, my favorite game of what shall we get rid of? Kind of don't want to get rid of any of this stuff. Which is ironic because it's like the heaviest stuff I have right now. We really need better armor. Oh, we do have uh, Witchwood Bark. Oh, this thing is uh, rusted, huh? That sucks. Let's go ahead and disassemble it. Let's drop... Uh, you know what? Let's preserve those Dreadroot Tubers, maybe? Oh, we can't preserve those. I don't know why I thought we could. Can we... We can't make... We don't know how to make anything yet. We, including flash grenades, which is dumb because we have this data disk lying around. Let's drop these moccasins. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff here. Solar cell. Well, that's nice. And this is a blaze injector. Also good. Um, what is this? Suraduct. We learned something about Suraduct. And what is this? Freezing masterwork carbide longsword with a, another cell in it. What kind of cell is it? Lead acid cell. Uh, worth keeping for now, I guess. We'll also wear this hologram bra bracelet. Actually, can we replace the cell with something better? Yeah, we'll put a chem cell in it. This could actually help us. Um, we have some armor. Oh, the mechanical wings got rusted. Damn it. Uh, we do have some, some fix it spray foam. Let's go ahead and use that on the mechanical wings. 100% worth it. Mechanical wings, uh, they've just been like invaluable. Uh, we'll disassemble a chem cell. We're very close now. Kind of want to get rid of the dreadroot tubers. Let's get rid of this freezing carbide longsword. I don't know why I have it actually, to be honest. Salve injector, nice, good find. Yes, this is the other thing that is now guaranteed to appear at the bottom of the race rusted archway is a uh, doorway. It, it really doesn't serve us that well because I mean like, you know, what's the best we could hope for? Um, and it's it's more or less the same as uh, jumping into a, a vortex, but um, still, I, I think it's it's kind of fun. We got some very good cybernetics here because they're both um, weightless. Always nice to see. And what kind of cybernetics do we have here? Uh, well, that's a pretty good one too. It's only two reactive cranial plating. Forget what this does. Cannot be dazed or stunned by kinetic effects. That's actually a really nice one. The head um, slot is a rather good one, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that would be one I would take, but it is. A, it, if I found it like literally at this stage of the game, I might take it. So let's go ahead and check this doorway out. You were transported. So this um, other doorway is not powered. We have we could try and power it by this fusion. Oh, this fusion power station is actually online. Contains wiring enabling it to function as part of a power grid. Is it this doorway that's not enabled? You're puzzled. You're, you make some progress. You're puzzled. Come on. Deactivated cash fool gate. Activated. There we go. So apparently you do need an, uh, a security card. Oh, we're 25 strata deep right now. Oof. This is a rather dangerous uh, gate. Really shouldn't be exploring right now, to be honest. We would 100% die by the first thing that we come across. But, you know, I, I like to live dangerously because there is no threat, really. <laughs> we have a gelatinous cupola. Injured. 
Injured. Injured. Um. Sprint. Sprint away. Eh, let's just walk through this portal. We don't need to mess with this. You're transported. Where are we? Nine strata deep. Well, uh, slightly less dangerous. What have we got over here? What is what is being powered over here? Or not being powered? Some kind of uh, another bizarre contraption. Hydraulic brass fulminator. <clears throat> um... Well, that's cool. That's key will. Um, I guess I do have, do I have wire on me right now? Tools? Uh, miscellaneous? Oh, did I get rid of the wire? That was completely pointless because the wire can actually be useful. <laughs> Why did I get rid of the wire? Oh, that was so stupid of me. Should have kept the wire. Oops. Oopsie. So we're nine strata deep. That's fine. We're also in a ruin, so we could like very easily escape. But you know, let's kind of keep this doorway action going. This is kind of fun. There we go. We found a doorway on the surface. Can we activate these? Capacitor low. Uh, we have a. Oh, we have a. A saw hander. That's not good. Got a bunch of robots on the surface. Weird artifact. Um, those are going to be missiles, and we want to treat those as scrap. Disassemble all. Are we still overburdened? We are, apparently. Why are we overburdened? I just disassembled. Oh, it didn't disassemble all of them. Okay. Okay, so why is that door not powered? Oh, we got some livid creepers. I love livid creepers. They're so easy to kill and they're f insane experience. One of my one of my favorite forms of grind. Cuz they are so so um Killable. Okay, we've got. Uh, I just want to get our lees back leveled up. No surprises there. Livid creepers can be a problem, of course. In the right circumstance, they can be very dangerous, but uh, not in this case. We have uh, carbide plate armor, which would be a upgrade from what we're wearing, but it would also be very heavy. And we have some kind of artifact here. A laser rifle. Would be nice. I can't really carry that right now. Um, I wonder if this would be... I, I kind of want to go back to the six day still and dump a bunch of stuff for um, reputation. Now, uh, what could we drop? What would... I, I guess the electro bow... Oh, it has a small cube in it. What, what do we got here? Not sure. Um, I think the Morphogenic Grenade Launcher is going to be valuable, but I am only saying that because it has a rare mod on it. I'm not sure if it actually will be good. Uh, the Electro Bow uses fairly advanced bits, so I think it would also be good. All of these would be good, including the Laser Rifle. Um, so I don't know. Congealed Skulk is also a very good find. <sighs> the Carbide... What, what, how heavy is the Plate Mail? 60 pounds. Um, we would actually save 60 pounds or, four, or 15 pounds by dropping the steel plate in favor of the carbide plate. So uh, that's actually a really good find. And then that lets us take the uh, laser rifle. Um, can't have it all. Nice. There is supposed to be some kind of power here. I don't know how we would charge the capacitor on this guy. Oh, we can just recharge it. it. Would take 53 bits to fully recharge the Cash Moon Gate. You have 24. Well, that that ends that adventure. 
I wouldn't even do it if I had the bits. Uh, we are inspired, which makes sense. We've we've seen some stuff right now, <laughs> you know. Like we've been we've been through the wars. Um, I kind of like cooking with congealed skulk, but I don't know if I want to. Yeah, why not? Let's do that, and then we'll do we'll just do that. Plus four agility. That's kind of nice. We made some meatballs, some skulky meatballs. Um, wow, we are in the middle of the jungle right now. We're level 15. Things are, are going well-ish. I have died a number of times, but never mind. Let's go to Kyakyukya and uh, get some reputation here. Kyakyukya is definitely one of the villagers, uh, villages we're going to want to convince to have the Slynth join them. Mayor Nuntu, how are you doing? What's your reputation like? Admired by crabs. Oh, disliked by robots. You always have some kind of reputation I don't want to really associate with, if I'm being honest. Oh, I apparently already made friends with you. So my my reputation with Kyokyuka is at 325, which is not bad. Um, the warden is going to have... Wait, what? Excuse me? We have uh, goat folk just kind of milling about. That's very odd. I think I noted that the first time I came here. The warden is going to have... Um, yeah, they're going to have a reputation with with Kyakyukya, pariahs, and wardens, but hated by goat folk. What are these guys? Why are they just kind of hanging out? I think as soon as... Oh, worshipper of a Barakoro, that's why. Interesting. Yeah, um, apparently I've already made friends with um, Indrix. So that's kind of that. There's another person that hangs out in Kekuka, but I never see them. They're occasionally here. But I never, never, I, I never see them. Um... Mayor Nintu can tell me where uh, a Borokoro is, and then I can try and make friends with them. Which you know that'd be that'd be fine. I would like to make friends with them um, and not kill them. Some forgotten ruins. That's not really what I want. Maybe I already know about the location of a Borokoro. Oddities. Secluded merchant from the consortium of Fida. Oh, that's the uh, the glowing mushroom or glowing glow shroom. Glow shroom? No, the glow pad. Some flattened remains. Uh, historic sites. I apparently know about a lot of, of historic sites. Name locations. Legendary Barath. L loves by pariahs. Okay. Uh, natural features. Slime bog, rust bog, gel wheat. I guess I don't know where a Borokoro is yet. We could go to Bela and do the Bela quest. The Bela quest always kind of scares me because I always do it wrong. Every single time. I know there's no wrong on that one, by the way, but I just like whenever I want to achieve a certain like effect, I always fail to do so. Um, we're going to go through the canyons. I think we are going to the asphalt mines. I, I don't like we're we're really kind of wandering around and doing whatever, which is the, the very much the cud way of things. We are starting to feel a little bit bulkier. I have 6 AV, which is nice. Good enough to do some stuff. We've got some more skulk here. Uh, oh, they, you've got great, great gate recoilers, huh? That's kind of nice. Uh, you know what? Before we go to the the mines, let's go to mines. Um, we'll go to the six day stilt and drop a bunch of stuff off, including some books and technology. Um, more ruins, huh? Okay. Yeah, why not? We get some more books. 
I could save uh, hoard the books for um, the future, but I, I, I think it's a I, I feel pretty good handing them over So the mirth worm armada is here Why is a dromad care nothing to trade what? That's weird <laughs> More books, more books. We are at capacity, so I can't really take any more books. Which is fine, because apparently we're not going to find any more. Okay. Um, six day stilt. Let... Uh, we don't have any more Reshef floor. We just have books and technology, so let's go ahead and drop these off. 73 reputation for the morphogenic gr grenade launcher. That's pretty good. Um, cybernetics. I think I'm going to hold them back because um, they're not really worth that much reputation. They're probably worth more as trade good. Electro bow is not worth a lot. So I think I'll hold that back as well and also just either sell it or... Uh, disassemble it oh man these episodes always tend to run long don't they okay except all right that's gonna do it i i didn't realize how long this was running but uh if you enjoyed this episode definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and um if you are interested i am launching a discord it's uh, a place where you can get bombarded by even more notifications that you can ignore and maybe chat with other like-minded simples um and a special thanks to uh the coffee subscribers for supporting the channel i really appreciate y'all thank you so much um i'll see you guys next time take it easy